Welcome to Physics 2100 at Cal State LA. This is video number four on Newton's Laws. I'm your professor, Dr. Bijan Berenji. This is September 2016. Forces. The concept of force pervades everyday experiences. People talk about how much force can be exerted on another object. When we push or pull something, we are exerting a force on an object. Although the idea of a force is somewhat intuitive, it was not characterized mathematically until the time of Sir Isaac Newton. Newton's first law, law of inertia. An object at rest will stay at rest unless acted on by a force. An object in constant velocity motion will continue in its state of motion unless acted on by a force. Newton's second law. This law expresses the concept that force equals mass times acceleration, or F equals ma. If there is more than one force acting, we may consider the sum of the forces, sigma F equals ma. Note that we are using vectors for the force and vectors for the acceleration. The acceleration is experienced by the body in which the force is acting. Newton's third law. The force that object A exerts on object B is equal in object to the force that object B exerts on object A. The two forces form a force pair. Units of force. The units of force broken down are kilogram meter per second square. Unit of force is a newton. One newton equals one kilogram meter per second square. Forces add and subtract according to the laws of vector addition and subtraction. They have magnitude and direction. Net force. The net force is the vector sum of the forces. It's expressed in the following equation. Sigma F equals F1 plus F2 plus F3 plus uh, so on. Example 1. Suppose you are given two forces as follows. F1 equals 10 newton i hat plus 20 newton j hat. F2 equals 5 newton i hat minus 10 newton j hat. Compute the resultant force and the magnitude and direction of the resultant force. A. Sigma F equals 15 N I hat plus 10 Newton J hat. We simply add the components. F1X plus F2X, F1Y plus F2Y. B. The magnitude of F is 18 newtons, and the angle is the arc tangent of 10 over 15, which is 33.7 degrees. Ratio of two masses. 
If two masses m1 and m2 are subject to the same force, the ratio of the masses are related to their respective accelerations as m2 over m1 equals a1 over a2. This can be derived from f equals m1 a1 equals m2 a2. Force, mass, and acceleration. In figure one, we show a plot of the force versus acceleration for two different masses. The 0.5 kilogram mass has a slope which is not as steep as the 2 kilogram mass because it takes a larger force to uh, force of weight. The force of weight can be expressed as weight equals mg. The force of weight is determined by the acceleration due to gravity g. It is important to note that in SI units, the weight of an object is given in newtons, not in kilograms. The normal force. The normal force is the force that opposes the force of weight and any other forces pushing down on the object. In the case of an object on the ground with no other forces applied to it other than gravity, Fn equals negative W. The force of friction. The force of friction opposes the direction of motion of an object. If an object is moving along the i-hat direction, the force of friction will be oriented along the negative i-hat direction. On the ground or on a surface, there is a coefficient of friction mu which determines how strong the frictional force will be. The frictional force is related to the normal force and the coefficient of friction as FF equals mu Fn. The coefficient of kinetic friction refers to when an object is in motion. Example 2. Pulling an object on the ground at an angle with a force of 100 newtons. Find the acceleration of the object and the normal force. T sine theta plus Fn minus W equals May. In the x direction, T cosine theta equals Max. Ay equals to zero, since it is not moving vertically. Therefore, we solve for the acceleration, Ax. Example 3. An inclined plane is at an angle of theta with the horizontal. The mass of mass m of 100 grams is sliding down the plane with the coefficient of kinetic friction of 0 0.01. Find the acceleration of the mass. Solution. Let n be a normal force, and ax, ay denote the x and y components of the acceleration. The coefficient of kinetic friction is denoted by mu. We relate the components of the acceleration in the x direction and the y direction. n minus mg cosine theta equals ay equals to zero. Mu n minus mg sine theta equals ax. So we solve for ax. Tension. In force problems, often two objects are connected with a massless cord. The force is transmitted by the force of tension T. Example 4. 
What is the acceleration by two masses M1 and M2 subs suspended on either end of a massless cord over a pulley? Let the tension in the cord be T. Let the accelerations of the two masses be A. Then simply apply Newton's second law to each object. Then we eliminate T between the two objects and solve for T, for A. So uh, in the first equation, M1G minus T equals M1A. Free body diagrams. Often we will make free body diagrams in which we represent the forces on each body in this situation. This allows us to more easily compute the force law equations. We draw the directions of the forces acting on each body. Centripetal force. We studied in the last lecture how acceleration for uniform circular motion is given by A equals V squared over R. The centripetal force, the force of attraction of the body towards the center of the circle, is given by F equals MV squared over R. Exercises. Exercise 1. What is the acceleration of a 5 kilogram object to which a force of 20 newtons has been applied? Solution, A equals F over M equals 20 newtons divided by 5 kilogram equals 4 meters per second squared. Exercise 2. A box is pressed against a wall with a force of F equals 10 newtons I hat. What is the force that the wall is exerting on the box? Solution, by Newton's second law, F force of the wall on the box equals negative the force of the box on the wall. F wall on box equals negative 10 Newton I hat. Exercise 3. What is the force on an object with an initial velocity of 1 meters per second, final velocity of 2 meters per second, which travels a distance of 10 meters, and has a mass of 1.0 kilograms? Solution. Uh, we solve for the acceleration and using kinematics, and once we have solved for the acceleration, we can find the force, which is equal to 1.5 newtons.
Exercise 4. In example 4, solve for the tension in the cord. Solution, M1G minus T equals M1A, T minus M2G equals M2A. We eliminate A between the two equations and solve for T. So we first divide the first equation by M1 and divide the second equation by M2. Then we subtract equation 3 from equation 4 and obtain the final answer. T equals to 2G M1 M2 over M1 plus M2. Exercise 5. Two forces act on a body of mass M. F1 equals 3 newton i hat and F2 equals 4 newton j hat. Find the acceleration, magnitude, and direction of the mass M. Solution, F equals F1 plus F2. We add the vectors and, uh, and simply uh, um, Fx squared plus Fy squared gives us the magnitude of F, which is 5 newtons.